Relentless smoke from Alberta wildfires continues to take a toll on outdoor activities. But Millwood's golf course in Edmonton says the number of golfers this May long weekend is on par with previous years. James Witten was surprised to see how busy the golf course was this weekend, despite the heavy smoke cover. It's been quite busy despite the smoke, and I don't know if that's because families have been kind of staying, staying home instead of going away for the weekends. Many golfers saying they didn't let the poor air quality put a damper on their golf plans, although it did add some extra challenges to their game. Really uh, fogged in uh, by smoke. And uh, there was lots of challenges with it. Um, visually, it was uh, tough at times, depending on uh, what hole we were on. Obviously, you can feel it in your lungs from time to time. Uh, usually I usually like to walk when I'm golfing, so definitely took a card out there to work on the cardio. Um, but yeah, visibility was a little bit lower as well, too. So when the ball gets up in the air, it's hard to see the ball out there. Millwood's golf course did see some cancellations due to the smoke, but overall says more golfers came in than usual. It seems to impact people with asthma and, and things like that. Um, but perhaps golf being a low impact game, so to speak, it's a little easier to play. However, it's a different story for other outdoor facilities in Edmonton, which were smoked out by the wildfires. Both Fort Edmonton Park and the Fred Broadstock Outdoor Pool were slated to open Saturday, but remained closed all weekend long due to the poor air quality. Obviously, if it keeps getting worse like this, like I have asthma, so it might impact me more so, but my fingers are crossed that it's going to cut down a little bit here's coming forward while the air quality improved slightly Monday it still remains high risk according to Environment Canada in Edmonton Laura Krause City News